Hi guys, welcome back. In this video I'm going to be carrying out a quick product review on this. No, I'm not on about the Alpex, nor am I on about the torch. What I am actually on about is this. Now this is the x Knight mount, and it's from a company called Custom Hunting. They very kindly sent it down to me asking if I could do a quick product review on it, which is absolutely great, no problems at all. Um, basically what it is, is a adjustable torch mount. So what I'm going to do is show you guys a little bit closer exactly what this mount is like and at the end I shall show you a clip at night basically in the garden just showing you how easy it is to move this thing around and set it to exactly where you want it so let's take a look at the mount in a little bit closer detail okay so taking a look at the mount from the side here I'm going to start with this the actual scope ring mount which has got the Picatinny on the top I actually um, got sent this by Custom Hunting as well because I had to get in touch with them because the normal mount that I use, which is this one, I never had a problem with it before. But when I fitted their mount onto it, the gap between the torch and the uh, focus ring on the scope was that tight that it was now I'm touching it. So I got in contact with them, they said, no problem at all, we send you up one of our mounts, and as you can see, Absolutely brilliant, no problems with it whatsoever. So, the actual uh, scope mount's got a nice little spirit level in there, which is great. Um, the x Knight mount obviously just fits straight on top of the Picatinny. Just turning it over, as you can see, it's got a quick release lever there, no problems whatsoever with that. And on top, got this little wing nut here. So you simply undo it slightly, and then you can move the torch around wherever you want to position it. Once you've found the perfect place, just literally nip it up. Don't have to go mad with it. You don't have to put pliers on there and wind it up really tight, but that is absolutely brilliant. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, very, very simple, really, really good. Um, completely different um, in, return, in respects of my mount that I normally use, which is this one. This is my Optic Fire one. Um, yeah, it's got the wheels to move the up and down and left and right, but this is so much easier. Um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it, to be honest. I think I actually will go over to it because A, it's a lot quicker to just undo that wing nut, position it where you want, and then tighten it up. But not only that, it keeps it a lot closer to the scope. So you get the beam pretty much going straight out over the top there. So you're not angling it as much as the other one. So yeah, I think I'm... Uh, going to be converting over to this one I must admit but um, I will show you in a minute the difference between this one and the one that I normally use but um, yeah absolutely brilliant really really impressed with that so if you guys are interested in this um, like I said, I'm going to leave their details and everything they're a UK based company they do a lot of their own stuff including their own night vision they do 3d printing for levers and mounts and basically just go onto their website and have a look at what they've got um, Yes, they sell named products as well, but the way they look at it, they try to keep the cost down a little bit um, for the likes of you and I, um, because, you know, we can't all afford the top end stuff. So these guys are trying to keep the cost down a little bit, but this, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So like I say, I'll leave the details um, in a moment. And what I'm gonna do is just show you um, some footage um, of this out in the garden at 30 yards just to show you how easy it is to move the beam around on top um, and that's pretty much it so yeah nice little setup 